Hey Newell, I thought I'd do a quick video to show you how I would do this porch. I'm going to leave the slab under it up to you because here in Indiana I almost always do basements, but it, you can do the slab however you want. Uh, I didn't think you had the slab right on your drawing though, but I've done this little sketch, tried to make it look like your house. It's just a 30 by 40 box here, but I'll show you how I would do this porch. <clears throat> I'd start with an exterior wall and I'm just going to use siding for just for the heck of it, and um, draw it in here, and then make it the right length, six foot, say, here, six foot, anchor it back here, and then 12 foot, and then center it on the door. And um, then I just make these invisible. General tab, invisible. And I'd name this room a porch. It'll put a slab there. Oh, it already is. So there you go. All right. So if we look at it, we should have a, we do. And um, so we have a ceiling and blah, blah, blah. So let's go upstairs and turn on our uh, reference display so we can see and then I've already created your handrail I kind of duplicated it as you can see down here it's just the Acapulco with three and a half inch newels right out of the catalog CP05 CP05 I believe it is yeah and I just draw a railing wall here and move them so they align with the wall below line them up here and um, then open up this room and make sure that it doesn't have a roof over it. it, it it'll be, it'll look like this probably when you start, just uncheck it. And then if you look at it, you basically have your railing on a, and I've done this before. This is why some of this stuff is coming in, but you probably will have flooring right here. Uh, floor finish, you'll probably have like hardwood flooring pull in. Um, who knows, it might look like this when you pull it in. So just all I'm doing is changing the material of the flooring to um, asphalt. And I think I'm going to make it a little less, maybe... 0.5 at the most and then you can delete this and there you go so now you got a roof and I'm mean, not a roof well it looks like a roof but it's a floor actually and if you want to make this structure deeper like I've done here I just changed this it was seven and a quarter I just changed it to say 18 inches and there you go you got this thick floor assembly. Now, to get the moldings so it looks like a porch and not like a, a blob of something here, um, I would use a molding polyline. And let's turn off our reference display and let's go down a floor and use a molding polyline here and drag it out. And then this back edge, we don't want it, so go down here and, um, well, you can't without a molding on it yet. So add a new, and I'm going to use the dash 00, oops, 001 baseboard right here. Make it seven inches tall, one inch, eh, make it one and a half inches thick. And let's just set this at like 120. Just so, so we can see where it is. And the molding, let's just set it at 120 and not extrude to the inside. Now here, let's take that molding off that back edge and pull it back. You probably know how to use a molding polyline. But um, if we look at that, let's, let's, so um, you can see we got our first molding on there and it looks like it's a little too high. So I'm going to, change this to like 118 
and there you go. So it hangs down a little bit like you would want it to. Now I'd attach another molding to this and I have my I have these moldings I use all the time. Um, quick moldings. And I would make this one say 12 by 0.75 maybe and put the bottom at 7. And there you got the face of your trim board say. And then you want some dental molding and I have a dental already so um, add new molding and if we go to my user catalog I got this dental here. Let's make it let's retain aspect ratio and make it seven just for the heck of it and then to the bottom let's make it so uh, I don't know 16 and offset it 0.75 and see what happens there you go it's a little too high though so let's lower that one make it 14 that looks pretty good and then just one more like a cap mold and I would go back down here to my user catalog and get my quick moldings again molding two and make this one maybe an inch tall and I don't know 10 inches wide and let's see, I gotta see where this is. To the bottom. It's 1421. So let's put the bottom here 21 minus 5. And there you go, you got a cap mold. And um, you can paint that top molding uh, black if you want. And that's another thing I do here. In this room, you have moldings. You don't have one, but if we added that dash oh oh dang it, dang it, oh oh one molding again as your baseboard and make it maybe seven inches tall by point three seven five thick and add it there and then paint it black. it'll look like flashing like you would need up there like that and that's how I would do your porch um, I mean there's a lot of moldings you could add or, or whatever and then we can come down here and add your column uh, Hon. Hon? Hon, I'm, on, I'm doing something God dang it. Wives. <laughs> oh well. Let's see. I'm almost done, so we'll just drag this up till it looks right, and then I'll reflect that about. And then we'll reflect them in plan view to the back. them out a little away from the brick take a look at it and voila looks pretty good so that's how I would do your porch and I'll leave the foundation of this uh, porch to you and the whole building really but uh, I'm no expert on slabs I, I couldn't do one if my heart depended on it so um, you know you can go in here too into this room and into the structure tab and change the ceiling finish um, I just delete this and then change this maybe to beadboard I think that would be a neat ceiling um, let's see what we can find here in the catalog maybe blue beadboard so you look up and you think it's the sky let's call it a day 
there you go and there's your porch pretty good looking I hope that helps you see ya